What's your favorite book? What's your favorite fiction? What's your favorite non-fiction? Why do you think that's the best fiction like that? Right. Oh, I see you yeah. have pictures of the ice caps. Did you realize they're melting? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. I'm Sonu. I'm Silas. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice Faceless to meet you too. Entity. So, what we are talking about is how to make a good conversations, specifically on Tinder, just yeah, in general. So, what do you think? About having a good conversation? Yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> just kidding. Why? <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. Listening and having a good conversation. It's like, I, I think this is really important, not only mm. in the beginning of a relationship, but definitely as the relationship goes mm. on and develops. Like, it, I feel like conversation actually gets more important because if, you know, we don't have an established skill of talking to each other, then our relationship really flounders. And I think that's true for. Yeah, it's Any very kind of fundamental things of having relationship and even in yeah living in general yeah bo so, i mean bosses friends romantic partners so give a tip like listening is important it's, i think it's a very common thing like we've we've heard about this tip from school and many motivation lecture i think i also think it's right but i think also we have to think about how to lead conversation more properly so listen and lead yeah, yeah listen. those are both important yeah. skills it's quite different that uh, I have ability to lead the conversation and listen mm -hmm. and just listening mm -hmm. just listening doesn't help in my opinion it's better than just talking over and overnight mm -hmm. but it's kind of uh, just too normal yeah we have to be beyond normal mm -hmm. to get love yeah. So, I mean, yeah. especially in the beginning. Yeah, at the beginning. And and just for some clarity, I think mm. what I mean, I mean more by listening is like, mm. not ever taking the lead. Like you can definitely take the lead, mm. but in terms of listening, what I've noticed is that mm. I will have conversations with people who will try to kind of like fill in the blanks for what they think that mm. I'm thinking, or what they think I'm going to say. Mm instead of actually listening to what I actually think or what I actually have to say. And that can, that, that kind of makes me feel like the other person's not actually interested in what it is that I, mm -hmm. that I'm thinking or feeling or that, you know, I don't really have a place to, to argue with them about I, what mm -hmm. it is that they think. I think trying to assume is okay, but if they convince too much of mm -hmm. themselves, it mm -hmm. makes conversation a little bit weird and aggressive. Yeah, that's true. So they have to check check it. Is it right? Is this what I think? Is mm -hmm. it right? Yeah. Yeah, I think asking questions, asking. like reflective questions are mm -hmm. really good mm -hmm. for both leading the conversation and listening. Like reflective, conversa reflective questions mm -hmm. are really important because First of all, it lets the other person know that you are listening, which is great. Mm -hmm. And then second, that can ask us for clarity. And, and third, it helps them to kind of open up. Because mm -hmm. if, if I'm talking to you about something and you're like, oh, well, tell me more about that. Well, first of all, nice points for listening. Mm -hmm. Second, you know, I feel more inclined to actually mm -hmm. like have a conversation. And, you know, we can check if our assumptions right. You know, yeah. maybe something <clears> that that he thought that I meant or I thought that he meant, we can kind of clarify what the other mm. person means or what they're thinking. Mm. So let's back to the mainstream topic. So <laughs> my first tip yeah, is <laughs> branching out. Branching out. Have you heard about the branching out? Technique? Not until today, uh, no. I, about I, tracking. I like, mm, tracking technique. I don't think I've heard of it as like a formal thing. I've mm -hmm. heard of this technique, but never with a formal name. Like, mm -hmm. can you elaborate? Like, what is what do you mean by branching? Uh, branching, branching out is like a branching out of some topic. So, for example, if you tell me about uh, some books you you read, mm -hmm. I can track that topics. Like, mm -hmm. uh, do you like that author? Why do you like that author? Mm -hmm. Or what's you can just uh, you can just change the topics like. Uh, after talking about that, that book, you mm -hmm. can change to other conversation, which is a little bit similar to the previous topic. Like, um, 
What's your favorite book? What's your favorite fiction? What's your favorite non-fiction? Why do you think that's the best fiction like that? Sure. Yeah, it's very powerful type thing. Mm, I think so, because people like to talk about themselves. Mm. Like some well, people, most people anyway. Yeah. Some people think we have to know about something, 100% to talk about, but actually it's not. If I know about 1% of something, I can yeah, talk about it. Right. Like I can ask about it and I can ask about your experience and I can ask about something similar that I know. That's so. true. Mm. Like kind of relate it to our own experiences. Because yeah. I think most topics, we have some kind mm. of frame of reference. <clears throat> and if we don't, even then, that, like I feel like that's a lot of opportunity for question. Like, mm. you know, I, I actually do know a lot about physics just from university, but let's pretend that I don't, right? Mm. And I go to like dinner with some guy and he's a physicist and he's like I analyze mm. spectral data <laughs> well a lot of people are going to be like well what spectral data mm. you know what I mean because like that might be an area that we don't have a lot of familiarity mm. in but that's an opportunity to go like oh can you tell me what spectral data is like mm. can you tell me you know what what do you mean spectral like I genuinely don't there. know about that so I can ask mm. you like the, this technique so sure. spectral data uh, spectra is like a light, like ah. like the mm. um, the darkest and, and mm. brightest lights. So I can ask, like, can is it contrast or is it related to the light light thing? It's basically all the light you can see mm. and all the light that you can't see. So ah, it's like it's, is it like ultraviolet and infrared, right? Yeah. Ah. So ultraviolet isn't very violent light. Where no. where. Or ultraviolet is super violent, sorry, mm. and, and hmm. red light is pretty calm and relaxed comparatively. Ah, I see. Mm. So this is how <laughs> to lead conversation mm. yeah. by asking. Yeah, so you can ask a lot mm. of questions, and <clears throat> even if you don't know about it, that mm. gives us an opportunity yeah. to try. And when it comes to another person, probably mm. you guys do have a lot of similar interests. Mm. Right, so eventually it can relate back to something mm. that you do have more knowledge in, but mm. you know, it gives us an opportunity to learn about something and someone, so mm. it's, it's kind of a win 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 yeah. win win. But one <laughs> warning don't to brag, yeah, don't to brag a lot, like, like how, uh, like our previous conversation, mm -hmm. I could brag, like, I studied about light because of physical therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know a lot of light therapy, yeah, pop therapy, what is mm -hmm. pop therapy? So, mm -hmm. this is kind of useless, yeah, pointless conversation. Because she didn't ask that, yeah, phototherapy is something, so mm -hmm. I didn't have to say about it. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, there's there's chances later, because mm -hmm. like you you know maybe we, maybe I have also mm. studied spectral analysis and mm. so later at another time I can mm. be like oh I've also studied that too like let's talk about it but it doesn't have to be like immediate and right yeah. away usually people really? really like talking about their story or their accomplishment so if she are, if she's talking about light spectrum mm -hmm. it must be related to her research paper or her study so it's better to track, it's better to lead the conversation like her accomplishment. Right. She'll be really grateful about that conversation. Yeah. Even though she, did, don't think of, she doesn't think about that mm -hmm. subconsciously, it's really important, right? It is. Well, and I think like, you know, people, we want to advertise ourselves mm -hmm. in, in a good yeah. light as a general rule. So mm -hmm. if we have an opportunity in conversation to be like, this is what I'm about, this is what I'm interested in, these are my goals. Mm. Well, great, you've basically met <laughs> that person. You know what they're thinking mm. about and, and where their energies lie, and that's really kind of the point in a first date. Mm. And then later on, you know, like in a relationship, he and I, we have to talk all the time, and like I, I ask him to, I guess, branch out or track. Mm. Like I, yeah. I use this technique a lot in our relationship. Mm. Because like I'm not a physical therapist, and and so sometimes he talks about stuff, and I'm just like, what? See. But it's it's an opportunity for us to learn from each other, 
And like, you know, you, mm -hmm. you don't have a background in graphic design, yeah. but we're cool. able, yeah. I'm able to like help you mm -hmm. with graphic design stuff. And, and people change over time. Yeah. You know, we, we get new interests and, you know, hopefully we're like l learning new mm -hmm. things from time to time and having a conversation where we can branch out and we can ask these kinds of questions mm -hmm. that helps our partner know that we're invested. And it also gives them a space to express what it is that they're thinking about yeah. if they want to. You know, I love talking about stuff. Like, that's how I think, right? I think verbally. So if we apply to this technique on Tinder, Tinder profile, mm -hmm. it's better to write down on your bio, as I told, as she told. So it's the, it's the, <laughs> <laughs> so it is the best that she or he gave you a hint in bio, like, I like fitness and exercise. I like reading a book. So you can ask about something related to that. Mm -hmm. It's True. the best case. And it's quite an easy case. But what if that person doesn't have bio, mm -hmm. only picture? Mm -hmm. It's quite a hard situation. So You could try to use cues. Yeah. I mean, like, granted, it's, it's a mm -hmm. little harder. But we, we can always try to use cues from the pictures yeah. because, I mean, unless it's just like seven selfies and then there's yes. really just like not much mm -hmm. to go off of. But if, you know, maybe there's a picture where the person's like out with their friends, like mm -hmm. playing football or something. Yes. And so then there's a chance to be like, oh, like I see you play football. Like, tell me mm -hmm. more about that. Like, are you on a team? Do you just do it for fun? Mm -hmm. Like something like that. Yes. So then there's a conversation you can start That's having. a good example. Mm -hmm. If Thank person, you. yeah. If that person has a picture related to sports, like playing sports, you can ask about that sports. And if that person has a picture of some tourist, touristy place, you can ask that place, even though you, you have never been to that place. Mm -hmm. Or if that person has very beautiful pictures of nature, you can ask about nature. Or do you like nature? How do you think about the environmental crisis? <laughs> <laughs> that one's really hardcore, but it's true. It's a bit far, works. but it works. It's better than high. Right. Oh, I see you yeah. have pictures of the ice caps. Did you realize they're melting? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's fucking real. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, but you can you can use a lot of mm. a lot of cues from other people, mm. and you know it's it's not nat like for a lot of people it doesn't feel natural mm. right like it doesn't feel like it's a super easy thing to do but it's it's kind of like anything else mm. it's like math science reading anything it takes practice mm. over time right so like this is something that i actively yeah. have to force myself to do because mm. my brain is just noisy there's a lot going on in there so it, I'm constantly saying la, 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 <laughs> in my head, so I have to stop. As usual. And pray, yeah. yeah, I mean, yoksi. But like, <laughs> there's all this stuff like going on in my head, and so I have to like stop and force myself mm. to reflect back on what the other person does. Mm -hmm. So it's good for them and good for me, yes. right? To be able to kind of ask these questions. Also, them. as she told, if you make if you made her expect more with more reflection. It made her think about this uh, friendship more mm -hmm. seriously because she invested more time. It's mm -hmm. like human thinking process. If we have to, if we have to invest more time, uh, translation. Yeah, naturally, if we invest more time, we have to think about it's precious because we can't stand the fact that we invested something. It, which, is, which is not precious. So, mm, if you like made sunken cost, yeah, sunken cost, <laughs> exactly. So, if you made her talk about many things, like in 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 a week, it's already kind of success. It's better than just ghosting, you know. That's true, yeah. and the, it does also make the other person mm. feel like a human being, mm. right? Like, especially mm. like. This is this is more for for straight guys going for straight girls, mm. like women in particular tend to really like mm. that quality in a partner where they actually want to listen because people, so many dudes just want to like and run and that's fine like for some people, but like especially in Korea guys try to be like sneaky about it which I don't think mm. is okay I don't think that the one night stand sneaky crap is alright yeah. and like 
So for for a woman, like from a straight guy, getting this these kinds of messages, that in itself is an illustration that probably you're not gonna just act like a turd head. Mm, yeah. I've never said turd head before and probably won't again, <laughs> but it fit the moment somehow. Mm. Just yeah, it, it shows the other person that you care and that you mm. actually are interested and invested in them from the beginning of a relationship, right at the beginning, mm-hmm. all the way to to death do you part, right? Like that's a it's a good habit for any kind of relationship always and forever. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. That's true. Yeah. Being a special person is really important. To have a <laughs> girlfriend, what can I say, or boyfriend? Like an intimate relationship. <laughs> yeah, like intimate relationship. Yeah, like an intimate romantic relationship. Yeah. So if I say ex- extremely, sometimes being just weird is better than being too normal. It's not sometimes, a, I mean, with a balance, but yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Like, don't be too weird. Yeah. Like, I microwaved a butterfly. Like, that's too weird, <laughs> right? But Maybe. if you're like. I saw it on a sign. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it was a weird thing. To check its real butterfly. Yeah. Mm. It's to see if it melts. Was it butter? Buttery taste? I don't know, the test was pretty fly. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. yeah. But I think <laughs> like being weird is being mm. weird is okay to, uh, to an extent, right? Mm. But you like you make sure to balance it. That's yeah. my tip cuz especially again for the millionth Mm -hmm. time and i'm probably going to say it again for like straight women getting messages from men and they're weird same same type of message like there has to be a balance right because there's a difference between hi and i know the fucking passcode to your apartment or a small letter hi right even or (laughs) sometimes people would just say smiley face ah What has caused your excitement? Cute, cute, cute. cute. Yeah, oh, cute, 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 cute. Cute, cute. Uh, yeah, in Korea, oh. to say that you're laughing, you use the uh, Korean character mm-hmm. that goes kuh, kuh, kuh. It's like Because it sounds like LOL. Yeah, it's like their LOL. Because it sounds like somebody Like that. So it's like, that's the thing. I have gotten that message too. Just Why are you laughing? I am hilarious, but why are you laughing? <laughs> Maybe they saw their face in the mirror. Okay. <laughs> All right, tip mm, number two. Tip number two. I think it's yeah, tip number two. Mm. Okay, so let's do tip number three. Okay. Mm. So the another tip is related to the previous topics. Uh, my last tip is get interested in many topics, like genuinely. So it doesn't matter where you get the information. Mm. It can be from book or from journal or from YouTube, from Mm. TV channel. But if you're interested in many informations, that means you can talk about many topics. That's true, actually. Including small talk, which I hate, but (laughs) I really hate small talk, but I can do small talk for like having life, you know? Yeah, I mean, we all have to smooth. Yes. Shmo- what is it? Shmooth. Oh, yeah. Shmooth. Shmooth. Yeah. Shmooth. Yeah. We all have to, like, be able to do small talk. I have to tell you, I also hate it. It's just, like, it's painful for me mm. on a lot of levels. So sometimes we need to yeah, have a skill to have a small talk. Like, if I face my parents. <laughs> like, yeah. Face them. I must face my parents. If I have to my parents if i face my grandpa grandfather or professor mm. i have to act like i'm a good person and i'm interested <laughs> in your hobby and your life so that's the best thing like having small talk right yeah that's true yeah you that's don't have true. to be hostile <laughs> yeah that's yeah. true you don't have to be enemy so having a skill to to do small talk is very yeah useful that's true I think it shows it shows the other person that you try, right? Like I also hate small talk because for me like small talk feels really just like you and I both exist in this room. Like that's what that feels like and it has always felt quite forced to me. Yeah. 
Oh, wow, <clears throat> like it's raining outside. Like amazing. Look, it's raining. Oh my gosh, it's rained for three days. Oh, well, we good. all know. <laughs> all of yeah. us went outside mm. to come to this place where we are. Mm. Right? So, like, I hate that kind of stuff. Yes, it's raining. Mm. Did you bring an umbrella? Like, I'm not interested in mm. it. However, he and I have a similar opinion that our relationships are a little bit like mini bank accounts. Yeah. And that we're like, like putting coins into mm. it. You're too subtle and minor portion of the human population pool. So <laughs> if you think about meeting just common type of person, you have to act like you're one of them. So you have to do small talk, guys yeah. and girls. Mostly guys, bros. Yeah. bros. Yeah, I mean everybody, yeah. yeah. Like everybody has to small talk. And it's unfortunate, you know, it's unfortunate. Some people love small talk. It's just, just they, I think they enjoy mm. putting coins in different, yeah. you know, relationship bank accounts. But like, for me, it's laborious and it interrupts yeah. my thought process. Because yeah. I'm usually trying to solve a problem in my mm. head. This is just how my brain works. So I'm like contemplating something mm. and then like small talk comes and it just like interrupts me. And so my thought process is like, oh, God damn it. Now I have to have this conversation, which is not that nice of me, I know. But the better choice is to just like put a put a pin in mm. what I was thinking and just sort of put it over here. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's raining today. Like, yeah, it was crazy mm. outside. Like, you know, did you wear the right boots? Like, great. <laughs> Gosh, <Gospel>. yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, old mm. people love gossip. You don't have to involve that gossip talk seriously, but it's better to kind of repeat. Yeah. So if if they are talking about some um, entertainer. You don't have to talk about the entertainer, but you can talk. You can just throw out some and just add some topics like mm. some entertainers related to that entertainer or some movies you you've seen. That uh, oh, I heard Kim and what's it? What are their names? I heard Kim and Kanye were breaking up, and like oh yeah, like I saw the picture of. I'm uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. Here we go. You mean that Kim? Kim Kardashian? Kim Kardashian and Kanye, they're breaking oh. up. I didn't know that. Nobody, I'm personally Surprised. not surprised. Yeah. yeah. But like, you know that song <laughs> by Kanye? Yeah. I brought your love locked down, your love locked down. So here's two mm. tips. I've got two tips. If you're talking about celebrity gossip mm. or like, you know, political things or whatever, mm. if you start to get uncomfortable, a really good tool to get out of it or change the mood is comedy. I have always used this ever since I was a kid. When people start getting really serious or they start talking about celebrity gossip, which I personally actually don't give a crap about. Mm -hmm. um, when people start talking about like, oh my God, like, did you know, like, oh my God, like Kim and Kanye, they like breaking up, oh my God. I was like, you keep your love locked down, your love locked down. Well, he ain't locked down anymore. And like all I of a sudden the vibe has changed, right? So there is not this. so much yeah. like, it's a unique skill. Yeah. Maybe I can practice, but I don't. I don't want to. You don't have to be that silly, yeah. right? Like, find your <laughs> style. You don't have to be like as animated and as ridiculous as me, right? But like, there there are ways to kind of comedy mm. your way out of it. Like both he and I have very dry senses of humor, mm. so maybe find a pun. You know, like I really like puns. So if they're like, oh, like Kim and Kanye, they're breaking up. What's a What's a joke with Kanye? Oh, because he says yeet, right? He's little Yeezy. So you can say he just yeeted out of that relationship, <laughs> right? So you find a pun mm -hmm. or something just to escape the conversation. I do this a lot with politics because I really don't like talking about politics. So when people bring it up, I'll just be like, feel the Bernie Sanders, and then just slowly exit <laughs> mm -hmm. the room, right? So this is my way out. I think she's more so social than me. <laughs> my style is like, uh, if my parents... Mm -hmm. Especially my, my father get too extreme about uh, his opinion, like politicians. Mm -hmm. I just aggressively agree his opinion. So <laughs> that's, <all. laughs> that's actually not a bad yeah. tactic. Yeah. So if my father say, "Ah, that the Republican guys have to go to hell," so I agree that yeah, they have to go to hell. This <laughs> they have to be just chopped and ate in pieces like that. Even like even like the 
don't think like that. Just the best way to escape this conversation, you know. That's true. That's yeah. actually a pretty good tip. Yeah. In in that same vein, the, the second thing I wanted to mm -hmm. say in regards to gossip is if it's mm -hmm. not celebrity gossip mm -hmm. and it's gossip about people that you know, first of all, don't involve it. Don't get involved. Yeah. Second of all. It's okay to listen, mm. but it's really important not to repeat, repeat it to yeah. other people that you've heard it, because yeah. this is a really good way to get into trouble. Yeah. And um, also, it's really tempting to say something mm. back. Like, let's say, oh, I can't even think of any names. Like, let's say person A mm. comes in and they start talking like, oh, gossip, gossip, gossip about person B. And then I go, ooh, gossip time. Mm. And I go, yeah. I also hate person B, then I can almost guarantee you person A is going to go to person B <laughs> and tell them what you said because humans are stupid and they will forget that they yeah. also said rude stuff mm -hmm. and they'll go tell the other person and be like, oh, like they said that they hated you and now the world has exploded for very little reason, for no reason basically. That's so, happening at this moment. Do yeah. not get into high school stuff. Like, don't do it. It's not worth it. And so, like, as much as we want to vent and stress about our relationships with other people, you know, mm -hmm. remember that our feelings and emotions are temporary, and you can also get gossip coins without actually gossiping. Right? So my example is something like person A comes up like, oh, my God, like, did you see what they did? Like, I saw what they did. Like, did you see what they did? It's like, oh, it sounds like you're really frustrated about that. Mm. This has this nothing sucks. to do with me. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like you're really frustrated. Like, what about that situation frustrated you? Oh, well, this really pissed me off because blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Have you tried talking to them about it? Not mm. about me. Not about me. Mm. So it's really important when people start gossiping to us about people that we do not get involved. Mm. Because people, even adults, mm. grown human people tend to act very young and they just it it becomes this like fiery gossip Human train of bullcrap i heard that it's kind of um, strategy to pick who's slacker or not by gosh i believe like probably i probably. just i think that it's even even if it is natural it's original occurring. function for sure. Well, and they actually think that gossip is the reason that humans mm. started speaking because we needed to know like ah, who was yeah. trustworthy and not, right? Mm. So like, that makes sense. However, we're in a time and place when gossip mm. actually is not helping anyone because like, it just filters out people mm. who got unlucky in the gossip train. It doesn't mm. actually, it never actually <clears throat> finds the culprit. Like, I, I watch drama go on around me, and I try really hard not to get involved. Sometimes I do on accident. But, like, I watch it happen, and the person who gets in trouble is almost never the person who started it. Mm -hmm. The original people who were involved and, like, had the original problem very seldom are the people who pay the price. So it's a little bit out of our topic, but it's really good tip, so... Sorry. Yeah, as, as usual, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like unexpected treasure. We are diamonds in the rough. <laughs> so, uh, this is our topic. Right? Yes. Having good conversation with branching out technique. So, yes. if, you, if you see any clue in their bio or in their pictures or their conversation, just in general, you don't have to use this, this technique on Tinder. You can use this technique. Mm -hmm. To your parent, professor, teacher, coworker, just anyone or customer. So True. that's it. Yeah, mm. that's all. I would say be self aware, listen, reflect what they say, and try to find an opening to ask questions. Mm, yes. That's my summary. So uh, please like and subscribe, guys. Yeah. See you next time. Da 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 da